we got a lot of folks, a lot of folks from the Tampa market looking to invest out of state, right? A lot of that cash flow real estate, super cheap properties, dude. You can buy properties in other states for a fraction of what you can in Tampa. If you're going to do so in Ohio, I do not, I do not want to see you drop that money until you talk to me, though. I got a client right now. I'm about to save him a ton of money during this video. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is from my man, Troy. My man, Troy, is an investor in Tampa, Florida. He's coming up here to the Cleveland market, Northeast Ohio. Why? Because Northeast Ohio is one of the cheapest markets in the country. This deal right here. Uh, what, what's the address here? Da, 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 da. 10506 Way, Cleveland, 44105. $60,000, right? Sixty grand. And look at the sucker. It's fully renovated, right? Look at this thing. $60,000. You get a mint house right this thing must be making you guys millions and millions of dollars imagine being uh the guy that gets to pick this sucker up for 60k fully renovated it must be the best deal in the world but wait it's been on the market 132 days what's up that's confusing why has it been on the market so long because this ain't a good deal this is actually a crummy deal this is a this is a turd it's a turd sandwich, man. This is a turd with polish on it. This is somebody who took a turd, and then they got themselves some white bread, put the turd on the white bread. Maybe they got a little mustard, a little Dijon mustard, maybe a little Swiss, a little Swiss cheese. Put that on top of there. Maybe spiced it up a little bit. Got a little relish, a little lettuce and tomato, a little salt and pepper at the end there, and then tried to sell it to you as a turd sandwich. Turd sandwich, man. In the Cleveland market, folks, even though properties are so cheap here, they ain't this cheap, and they move quickly, right? You see stuff like this, people are like, oh, Cleveland properties are so cheap, nobody's buying out there. That's why it's been on the market. It's not in high demand like Tampa. No, 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 no. Our pricing is much different. The housing cost is different. The cost of living is different. But the market still moves immediately. If you price a property appropriately in the Cleveland market, it's moving like within a day or two, multiple offers, right? It's 2022, folks. Seller's market everywhere. So if a property's been on the market for 132 days, there's a problem. The problem with this one is it's overpriced. You might be thinking, how is it possible that it's overpriced, James? It's only 60 grand and it's fully renovated. What the heck is going on? I'm so confused. The reason it's overpriced is because it is in the middle of the ghetto, okay? Now, this is our house, okay? These are all the lots, right? This is a vacant lot. One. This is another one. Two. Actually, I should have started with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on our side of the street. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Okay? 63. That is 63. Just in this, what is this? How many streets? One, two, I guess we can count that one. Three streets, two and a half, three streets. 63 houses were torn down. Now, this is a neighborhood that's like 100 years old, folks. So it's not like uh, an area where people are buying farmland and they're building new developments. Not the case. 100-year-old neighborhood. What happens in neighborhoods with this much blight, this much crime, this much problems, housing values that are this low, uh, you get a point uh, where you have a house that's like totally distressed. Maybe it was a tenant. Uh, destroyed the house, landlord couldn't make any money, couldn't fix it up, property just gets in disrepair, disrepair, disrepair. You get to the point where the property's in such a terrible shape, it would actually cost more to fix it than what actually fully refurbished houses are selling for, right? Like, you could not build a home that looked like that for $60,000. You couldn't do it, right? It's like, if you're trying to build a house in 2022, 
in Northeast Ohio, your cost per square foot, not land, nothing, should be about 200 bucks a square foot. This house already ready, including the land, is priced at a quarter of that, 5682 okay? Why you have 63 vacant lots in and around this house is because 63 people realized, oh, crap, it would cost four times as much to put this thing back together uh, is it's probably going to be worth, right? And they just walk away from the house, and then it gets torn down, right? Uh, so when you see a neighborhood like this where you see that much blight, that's why you're going to see a house that seems like it's an amazing deal. Uh, but in reality, it's overpriced, and that's why the market – even though it's only 56 bucks a square foot, has it, it sat there for almost six months, right? Because the locals and the other people, they understand that this is overpriced for this property. Put it in a different neighborhood in the Cleveland market, yeah, it would be a steal. But where this one is, nah, it's, it's not worth that, right? So if you're investing in Cleveland out of state, right, you're from Tampa, this wouldn't be the first deal for you to do. Man, it's, it, it's too high risk. You're basically buying the most expensive property in the neighborhood. And managing a property in, in like this neighborhood, it, it's pretty difficult. You could put government-guaranteed tenants in there, subsidized tenants. That would be the way to do it. Uh, but, you know, an adage in real estate, you want to buy the crummiest house, on the street you don't buy the most expensive one <laughs> over the whole neighborhood so uh, for your first investment leave this one to locals who'll probably get it at a better price than that and then manage it themselves and you should try something with a little bit less risk right that's why you hired me you hired me to give you the on the ground in-depth insight uh, that I have, because I'm here in Cleveland, I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff, run the largest scattered site portfolio, right? You're in Tampa, you don't understand the market, that's what I do. I give you guys the insight. So if anybody else out there would like insight, like I just gave my man Troy, saved him a ton of money after this show, go ahead and book a free call with my team. We'll walk you through the process of getting your own personalized videos. As for you, Troy, you ordered several videos from me, uh, so we'll be working. And next week, uh, you should be getting uh, several videos from us, some other properties that I think would probably better fit with your investment strategy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.